Hey guys. Well, I still haven't got the bike fixed. But fuck it. It'll get fixed eventually. But I do now have a week off work. And I'm hoping the weather will actually be like fairly decent. Because it's gone back to the point where every time I have a day off work it rains, it's cold, it's windy, it's horrible. So I'm really hoping that for the next like few days at least it holds out and it's just well like this. It's chilly but it's dry and it's sunny. I need to get some petrol actually. I'm on the road again. But yeah, didn't have to take my helmet off there. I don't see why some petrol stations do. As you probably guessed from the title, this video is about why motor vlogging is great. Because I truly think it's fucking brilliant. Before I started motor vlogging, I was well, I was always riding a bike. I've, as I've explained in why I ride, bikes are a massive part of my life. But then uh, Jay Fezzer was showing me some motor vlogs on YouTube. And I thought, this actually looks like it could be a lot of fun. And I enjoyed watching them. So I thought, fuck it. I'll go out, buy myself a camera. And start talking. And since then, I've now got... I can't remember exactly how much, but it's over 30 people. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, I've got 30 people watching what watching me ride my bike, listening to things I've got to say, I think that's huge. Because thinking about it, motor vlogging has actually changed me for the better. I mean, before I started, I was quiet, I didn't really... I was just quiet. Since I started, I've basically come out my shell a bit. I mean, if you watch my first few videos, they just seem so shit. Yeah, my first videos just seemed like unbelievably shit because I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't confident. I didn't know how I'd be seen by other people. And I was nervous while doing it. But now I just don't give a shit. I know how I'm being perceived. I think I know how I'm being perceived. I can't be sure. But as far as I can tell, there are people that enjoy this. Listening to me talk about random shit that's happening to me or my opinions about stuff. And I think that's brilliant. I mean, in the comments of my videos, I'm interacting with people that I would never have been able to even know existed. I've had a few people sending me messages on Twitter and Instagram. I'm really enjoying it because watching if you're watching my videos you get to know me but that's where that ends I don't get to know you so it's kind of like a whole one-way thing but with all the interactions in the comments and the private messages and that I get to know the people that are enjoying my videos that are getting to know me and I just think that's amazing. But the main reason I do think motor vlogging is brilliant is it's given me confidence. Not just... Sorry, she was on my side of the fucking road. Old bitch. Anyway. It's given me more confidence, not just talking to the camera. But in my day-to-day -day life as well. I've already said, before I was vlogging, I kept to myself, I was quiet. But... It's like I'd be standing in a queue, eyes down, looking at my phone, ignoring everyone else. But because I've got used to expressing my opinions and my thoughts and that everything... To potentially hundreds of people... And the 30 people that 
watched like almost all my videos. It's just giving me more confidence. I can now have a normal conversation with a complete stranger. That used to scare the shit out of me before. But now, if someone starts a conversation with me, or if I start a conversation with them, I can just... It feels normal, it feels natural. Hang on, I've just seen a biker at the side of the road. Anyway. Yeah, I, I saw someone stop there and I thought, I better check just in case. It's the last two people I stopped for had actually crashed, so... I am... Um, I will always stop for another biker. And most of the time I'll stop for a car as well. Anyway, I've got to try and remember where I was. I've got no fucking idea where I got to in this. Shit. The curse of being a nice bloke. Okay, so this guy didn't indicate and actually drove up onto the curb to get around that corner. Oh dear God. But anyway, back to the subject. Basically, I just want to thank everyone. Everyone that watches my videos, everyone that has subscribed, everyone that likes, comments, everyone that shares it, just thank you. And I will say, if you ever want to like ask me a question or anything, feel free to message me on Twitter or Instagram. I'll always get back to you. At the moment, there isn't too many people, so if it starts getting into the hundreds, a big if it starts getting into the hundreds, then it might be a bit difficult for me to reply to everyone. But at the moment, I want to keep this like group of people as a little community. So if you want to get in contact with me, just message me through Twitter or Instagram. Leave a comment in the... well, in the comments. I'll always get back to you. Because it's you people that make this channel. I mean, I make the content. But if you weren't there... Then... I wouldn't be making this content, because no one would watch it. Without you, this channel literally wouldn't exist. So... Thank you. And I'm not talking about thank you as like, thank you everyone who's watching this. I'm talking about you. That's right, you watching this video right now. Don't look around, I'm talking to you. Thank you. So anyway guys, cheers for watching. Remember if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, click subscribe. Become part of this community. And I'll catch you all next time.